Hey Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6 as Scotland where we're trying to take over the world, we're trying to do a little bit of conquest, trying to blow up a few people. I think our main objective of this episode is to find and take out Korea's capital and then push west to uh, towards Greece slash Macedon. I think we're going to ignore Suwon and Busan and Karina and Gao. We're going to push straight to Daegu. We're also going to start the production of nuclear weapons wherever and whenever I think that that would be a viable place to do so. So we'll have a few nuclear weapons coming in over the next say 20 to 30 turns. We're also looking for more uranium. I think we had just, yeah, we're in the process of conquering a city to get extra uranium right here in Tamutu. So all I have to do now is to actually buy a builder and this builder can be used to then get that uranium online and I'll be able to continue to produce more nuclear weapons. So all in all, I'm feeling pretty good about the position of the game that we're in. Uh, just like I feel pretty good about the position I had your mom in last night. Woo yeah, baby. We got them. God, I love those jokes. It, they're so dumb. It's such a stupid joke. But for some reason, for some reason, it continues to be funny. Let's go ahead and declare a formal war. We'll get that shit going. Um, take this opportunity to get a little bit of experience on these boys although this isn't our main objective uh, next turn we will be looking to start bombing uh, the Korean peninsula I do need to bring these tanks up there's also also want to get these helicopters actually towards this direction but yeah things are looking fantastic I got no issues I got no complaints I'm very happy with how the situation is looking I'm even popping down random ass extra cities just for the memes because I think it's funny we're making nearly 2,500 gold a turn, which is enough to build a relatively large military. We're also thinking of going to war with Chandra Gupta. In fact, this is the turn that we go to war with Chandra Gupta. Um, so let's let's get that underway. Cassus Belly. Uh, war of ter territorial expansion has less grievances. Um, I think our main focus will be on just slowly chipping away at his capital. I'm going to buy myself. I'm losing two aluminium per turn. I've got 200. So I've got hundreds of turns worth of stockpile here. I'm going to get myself. Oh no, the district that I was using is damaged, I think. It was blown up or something. Maybe like something flew through here and like did damage this city. It kind of looks like a, it looks like a hurricane hit this city. Let me have a look here. Yeah, I think a hurricane hit here. This looks like the work of a hurricane or some very active bombers. I can't tell which. So we'll buy a builder in there and then we'll be able to restore this city to its former glory. Let's build a harbor in Yaks Chillin. Mostly just to continue to build their gold levels up. And again, remember, the thing that we really care about doing damage to is Gonju. So we'll get our missile cruisers in position. We do have two. Well, we have one missile cruiser armada. Let's get the next missile cruiser armada. I'll pop down here. I'll buy a missile cruise for 2.8k. Uh, we'll keep the aircraft carriers pumping along towards the front line. Let's deploy that jet fighter to get visual of the south of the island. Uh, the range capability of jet fighters is truly awe-inspiring. The fact that I'm basically like halfway across the map bombing Gonju is a little bit insane. Just, just, a, just a scooch of insanity. Oh wow, we actually, we actually took them out this turn. Right, Ganju is mine. Uh, we have a foothold on this continent, which means we need these tanks up kind of sooner rather than later. Very nice for them to put a uh, put a builder on that tile for me to capture. It kind of worked really well for me. Um, so we'll be able to use that builder to build up the city. Um, we got access to more oil, which is even better. Also, somehow I have 28 amenities. I think I got the Estadio. <gasps> I did get the Estadio. So now I'm making a thousand culture per turn, which means a culture victory is literally impossible for them because I'm gaining 10 tourists per turn. That's insanity. Um, apparently I will also be winning a culture victory in some amount of turns, partially because of the monopoly. But you know, again, these are backup win conditions, not what I'm super concerned with. Loyalty in here is fantastic. We're going to grab Victor, reassign him to Gonju as a loyalty. He also has the promotion that will provide extra loyalty to nearby cities. Some of these cities are already damaged. Uh, mostly we're looking to break our way through Korea here. So let's see what can be done. All right, boom. There's Jane Drew. She's a great engineer. Uh, I guess I will... I guess I could pop her into the capital, keep the capital really happy. Um, sure. She's not particularly important. What does she do again? It's like uh, she gives amenities and uh, housing. whoop de doo Not... Super important. All right, let's get these missile cruisers. You get plus one range. Very nice. Now I've got a four range missile cruiser, which feels very, very nice. I've got my tank onto Gonju. My aircraft carriers continue to advance. Let's deploy the fighter if we can. There we go. We found Guanju. That'll be our next target, I think. And so we shall, as is tradition, begin bombing it to hell. 
successfully acquired 1,352 gold. We can also claim a new great person. Looks like it's Grace Hopper. She gives two free technologies. I don't need two free technologies, so she'll be used as probably nothing, honestly. Probably no use for her. Uh, my missile cruisers, though, will continue to blast Busan. Um, let's hit Busan. Nice, we captured it. It's not particularly important that we keep this city. It's more so that it's a good stepping stone to opening up the terrain for um, for the next one. Can't quite reach Guangzhou this turn to clear it out. Um, but if we move up to here, this tank should be able to reach pretty quick. Um, I'm going to deploy this tank into the water now. Getting our long range promotions feels really good. I've got a jet fighter that could probably do some serious damage to some of these ground units. So I think we just got some extra flooding, which is not the end of the world. Oh, I do think that means that the mausoleum's on the verge of death. Jane Drew, make that city worse or better? Better. Better. Airport's getting repaired soon, so I'll be able to start making... I guess I probably have more airports somewhere. Nah, they're all damaged. Um, Guangzhou should fall. Should be a pretty easy grab. There we go. Another poor decision has become my good fortune. We'll keep this city. Let's start moving those missile cruisers around. I'll bring the destroyers down south too. Jet fighter will take out the machine guns. These jet fighters, I mean, you only really need one because its main job is scouting. God, I wish I had this tank in position to capture Daegu right now. Um, I do not, unfortunately. Well, the good news is we can take a moment with our bombers to kill some of the enemy units. Not exactly what we need to do with our bombers. But it sets us up for a good future. Is there an encampment around here? Would be nice. I think I might. I think I'm going to go ahead and purchase a modern armor. Two thousand eight hundred gold. It'll give me the kind of mobility I need over here. Um, I may as well grab Moksha and Magnus at this point, mostly just for loyalty reasons. Don't actually need their abilities. Uh, let's grab those two randomly chosen free technologies. Okay, we got access to the giant death robot. Giant death robots are pretty cool because they're. I think they're immune to radiation. So saving up for a GDR and having it on the front line might not be a terrible move. It would significantly cut into our uranium surplus, though. And God knows I like having that surplus. Yeah, a bunch of Maori muskmen just appeared inside my borders. I'm not really sure how. I think that was like a great admiral or something that does that. It's not important because uh, they're musketmen and I have a unit in the area that could, I wouldn't say easily deal with them, but like deal with them. A couple of turns, we got city shots and stuff too. So that shouldn't be a problem. Let's turn you into a nuclear sub. We could kill Geneva, but we don't need to, and so we won't bother. I'm going to take the reactive armor promotion on you, and then I'll probably upgrade you to a modern armor. You can't quite reach Daegu. That's fine. Let's use the jet fighter to kill that AT crew, and we'll get you into position to hit Daegu next turn. So where is your capital? So we just, it looks like we just launched the Earth satellite, which is going to make conquest way easier. Speaking of which, I'm going to pop down here, just start launching the moon landing. Again, this is my backup win condition. It's not the one that I need to go for. I just have it running in the background because Scotland's pretty good at it. Speaking of which, we're about to take uh, India's capital. We're on the verge. Mostly we were waiting for the airport down here to get repaired. All right, you could become a modern armor. We've got plenty of tanks um, rolling through. Also, we just stole a settler, which is awesome. Found a Macedonian nuclear submarine Armada. Remember, that's very scary for us. These poor um, aircraft carriers can't really sustain much in the way of damage. But we should easily, once we get our aircraft, I'm trying to think like here, let's have a look. City overlap, let's go up to 15 range. If I check the range on the capital, once I can get my aircraft carriers into this little sea lane here, I should be able to take Korea's capital with bombers and tanks. Uh, if you're wondering why I use bombers and tanks, it's purely just about mobility. Uh, bombers have extremely long range, which allows you to stack a bunch of damage onto a single tile. Uh, the amount of power that you can project is based on the number of units you can get to attack a single location. And once you can concentrate firepower onto a single location, i.e. the city center, um, then it becomes about how fast can your army keep up with your ability to knock down the defenses of a city. And so tanks kind of are survivable enough to follow your armies around and independent enough and, and fast enough to be able to keep up with them. So they're a really great middle ground, even though technically there might be better units. Um, th this super does not matter to me. Um, I mean, I would like to get less grievances just because it would make my life slightly easier. But otherwise, I just super don't care. It's not important. The tourism, culture, governors. All right, let's get this modern armor to take the city of Daegu. Boom, it's done. Let's move our modern armor forward. Um, let's also move... Can we peace out Geneva? Not quite. All right, we got our aircraft carriers moving through here, through this, through a dangerous zone. We've got destroyers are escorting. We're keeping this city. We just need to get to Yangshan and Gyeongju. Let's get scouting info on Yangshan. 
and this will set us up for the bombing campaign. Right, one full round of bombing has taken down Yangson. We should be able to get that um, soon. What does the domination look like here? We've got one capital captured. There's seven other players. We're about to capture Gyeongju. We're also working on Patna. So that'll be three. Then we need four and five over here. Six and where's Alexander's capital? Oh, oh, Alexander, where's your capital, dude? Seven, Pella. Got it. Yeah, this should be a pretty, pretty doable um, set of wars. All right, let's go for near future governance to get ourselves a governor title. We'll also go for corporate libertarianism because it's a more militaristic um, government type. Although I don't know if I will keep it. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, fascism is pretty good for the war stuff. All right, we got the dangerous warrior monk floating around over there. Um, we got a couple of machine gun armies. Can you reach here? No, you're going to have to deploy here in assistance formation. And unfortunately, you're going to have to deploy one tile to the right. You're going to have to deploy to here. You're going to have to kill, kill. But we'll get us closer to where we need to be. Um, let's go ahead for fortified defender. We're not going to be able to capture Yangshan this turn, which kind of sucks. Yeah, we have nothing to bombard. Getting getting kind of bogged down a little bit. Um, things should speed up. Well, at least we can hit Dejan. That's something. All right, let's take on Patna. Boom. Captured a unit from India. We will keep this city. Monument, Granary University. That is their capital city taken. Um, I guess, well, we got seven more turns of alliance with Gaul. So I guess we can kind of chill with this army. Just keep conquering Indian cities for lols, I guess. Let's get to work on Operation Ivy. It'll take 13 turns. I would be surprised if I haven't finished the game by then, but it will be good to just have the ability to build thermonuclear bombs if I want. Uh, let's get our tank army to take out Yangshan. This gives us a nice uh, inroad into Gyeongju, which I'm hoping to bomb um, enough right now. We do have a WMD strike. I could strike outside the city. It's not necessary. We have one nuclear device. If it's not necessary, I'm not going to bother. I don't think this is going to speed up our conquest by enough of a margin to be worth it. If I had more tanks rolling through here or maybe a GDR, which is probably what I'm going to buy next. Because once you have nukes, giant death robots, I'm pretty sure are immune to the nuclear, um, nuclear fallout. So I think that would be a very nice thing. You could hit the city. You may as well get that experience. Let's pop in here. There you are. So we are going to be using a lot of our uranium, but that's not the end of the world because we have a few nukes coming in. We'll have the GDR that'll do crazy damage to cities. Um, and yeah, everything's looking up, coming up Millhouse, effectively. Chennai is now a my base of operation. <laughs> um, so we've captured another Indian city. We are also, oh, hello, uh, ships of a scary nature. Destroyers are defeated. Let's keep these cities. May as well keep them. You know, why not? Can I maybe purchase a modern armor here to get a little bit of vision on Mysore? I believe I would like to capture the couple of cities down here because there is uranium. But again, it's not, you know, we're not in a rush. We're not in any sort of rush to get all that done. Okay, giant death robot moved forward. Let's grab a couple jet bombers. I'll blast the city of Gyeongju once. We'll take that city. Um, I'll move you to here so you can get visual confirmation of Gyeongju. Can't quite kill it, so we'll just pop back to be safe. We did get ourselves another aluminium, so we could get a lot more aircraft if we wanted to. But I don't think there's a need to. I think this is just a matter of like slowly conquering our way through the world. I think we did just capture something worth plugging in. Let me see here. Sports media. I want something that gives me lots of money. E-commerce seems pretty good. Plus two production and plus five gold from all trade routes. That seems all right. All right, let's keep these. Yeah, we want to get to Pella next. So let's keep these um, aircraft carriers on the move. Keep this great admiral nearby as well to provide the extra movement that'll keep these guys mobile. Mm, we've got a nuclear submarine down here. We want to take it out. Um, any of my jet bombers still have moves. Unfortunately not. We'll have to use missile cruisers to finish these. We need, we need to, it's absolutely imperative that we keep nuclear submarines away from these aircraft carriers. It's like so incredibly important because they're, they don't have very good defensive strength. It's only 65. So one to two shots from a stray nuclear sub could, you know, end our dreams of conquest here. Nice. So we unlocked venture politics, renew mission. Um, 
Let's go for smart materials. We do want to be able to launch the Exoplanet Expedition because we are launching the moon landing. I have governor titles. I don't have a real use for them, so I'm just going to grab things at random here. Again, it's important in the late game. You're not so much managing your empire as you are managing your own attention. And just like, just don't, don't like... What happens is to a lot of people is they're like, they don't know what decisions matter, so they get decision fatigue. Like right now, the only thing that matters is me getting to the management of my units as fast as possible. So I just make a reasonable decision and move on. I don't, I don't like, I don't, I'm not trying to optimize every single little movement that I do right now. This is not important enough. Um, is it worth it to go to corporate libertarianism? You know what? I reckon it is. Um, so we're going to plug in Republican legacy. Make sure we have fascist legacy. It'd be good if we have levy on mass. Five-year plan seems good. Merchant Confederation, Mercantile Legacy. All these seem fine to me. I'm sure if there's a card that I really need, I could have plugged it in, but we're fine. I bombed this city once, take it out with my tank. Make sure we're keeping that loyalty strong. Dejeon should be next, I think. I guess we should denounce this guy. Maybe we can do a cast his belly on him. We're probably going to declare war before five turns are up, but that's fine. I'll make sure we're pillaging. It's very important that we keep our aircraft carriers safe. We don't really have anything to bomb this turn. My aircraft carrier stuff has been slightly inefficient because I just haven't had things to shoot for the last few turns. I mean, I've, I've been in position to shoot things, but not particularly important things. I may as well keep the battle lines flowing to, like, keep my units leveled. Let's deploy the fighter on the edge of his empire. Oh, man, he's got field cannons. He's so dead. My seaports are pulling in a very healthy 32 gold per turn when you build them. So it seems quite, quite, a, quite a nice little... Uh, well, side project. We've got nuclear devices. We only got one in storage, but I have many, many, many being built, um, which has made me quite happy. Let's go ahead and declare. I don't have a Cassus Belly on him, so I'll just do a surprise war. I mean, it's not that important, right? Like, re realistically, we're going to kill him. This is just not that important. Um, I would like to bomb this city at least one more time, or I can use both of these tanks to take it. That'll allow me to keep the city, have a little bit of loyalty up here. Korea still technically exists. I don't have to actually take him out. And... I own the vast majority of the map right now. All right, fighter, start taking out units. I need to get my giant death robot over there. My giant death robot. Alexandria's walls are officially broken. Should be an easy conquest for us. I guess I could pop in here and buy a... Oh, I guess I need to do it in Jeonju. Um, I'll buy a modern armor army to be sent across the water. That is the power of the insane, insane amount of gold per turn that I'm producing right now, over 2,000. Feels good. All right, we got a couple of nuclear submarines over here that have been hitting my helicopter army. Left them in pretty bad shape. He should be able to capture the city uh, and hide in there for defensive purposes. Let's go ahead and grab our good friend. My, well, my Victor probably is the right guy to put into Alexandria. It won't quite fix our loyalty problems, but it will get us a few turns to play with here. Uh, specifically eight turns. We're going to get our giant death robot moved up. We're also going to get our jet fighter moved up, I think, to here. That'll give us perfect overwatch vision. And we can start to smash Pella. Um, let's kill this unit with the giant death robot. Time for the jet bombers to smash away and do their job. Technically, this could be a WMD strike. If I strike right here. Yeah. Oh, baby. Here we go. This is this is the kind of stuff. We like. Oh. Oh. Now that, my friends, is how you win a war. Right there. The nuclear bomb, the mushroom cloud, just like the mushroom tip that I gave your mom. Oh yeah. Uh, we'll be capturing Pella soon. So I think we can start moving these units. I think we need to move some of them down to Coupe. Maybe do it, maybe do a split, send a couple down to Coupe. Um, Cause we just need to capture this, this and this now, I think. Let's double check the demo. Yeah, I think we're we're on the verge of victory here. We're on the early edge of glory. Capture another city from India. Really just like for fun at this point, just because, you know, they India screwed me out of having this island as my capital, and now I finally get to have it, right? Like that was like when we loaded up this game, it was kinda like, oh yeah, it's kind of a bad like start, but you know, there's some potential there. And then India appeared. I just ruined it all. And so, you know, I feel like I'm justified in getting my revenge. I, I just feel extremely justified. Speaking of which, we're actually getting a decent amount of tourism right now. We we could pivot to any victory. That's that's the beauty of the position we're in now. We're on par with the AI. In fact, we're now ahead on a science victory. We're ahead on a culture victory. We're ahead on a domination victory. Not a religion victory and not a diplo victory. But we are getting there. We are getting there. So I'm going to take my destroyer armada plus two aircraft carriers to the south 
And then I'm going to take these two aircraft carriers down to here. What's the best way to get there? Probably through Fanganui and then blast this city. So you know what? Maybe we'll send them all kind of in that general direction. And I'll send my missile cruisers um, in a similar enough direction. Alrighty, so uh, I think you are you need to get up in there. Capture Pal outright. We got the city, boom. What's the loyalty like in there? Loyalty is a little bit grim. We'll have to fix that. Let's give you a governor. While we're still in range, Maybe we should hit Amphipolis. Hopefully capturing Amphipolis will give us... Maybe we should conquer Methane as well. Just for the safety and security. Yeah, maybe we will. Maybe we will. Hoping that capturing this solves my loyalty issues. Because I'm kind of just... Oh man, I need... To, yeah, I think I need to keep capturing cities then. Unlucky. Unlucky. Unlucky rubber ducky. No nukes in the chamber, sadly. Oh, I wonder if I can get a military engineer. You know what? I think it should be possible and then he can clean up the contamination i should be able to park a unit inside this city and that will provide me with that little bit of extra loyalty i think it's plus nine loyalty oh i don't have the fascism card anymore so it's only plus five that's okay oh god i lost track of my military <laughs> jesus um all right so we're going to take on methane now uh, i need you to clean up this radiation there you go uh, i need you to heal and i need some of these Jet of Bombers. I may just nuke this city. No, I should nuke his capital. I have the units in the area to take this on. I don't need to nuke it. I'm really hoping that Methane is the last city I have to take because if, if it isn't, I am for sure nuking Alexandrupoli. All right, let me take it. Loyalty? Any loyalties? Nope. All right, we're nuking this and then taking it. All right, uh, where's my nuclear bomber? It's got to be here somewhere. There you are. All right, I want you to do a WMD strike right here on this city. Yep. Proceed. Proceeding to waypoint. In the pipe, five by five. Ah, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Ah, 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 staying alive. Oh, baby, we killed three population and completely annihilated that city. God, I love nukes. God, I love nukes. Um, the AI should just surrender to me at this point. Like, we got four capsules. Capital captured. All right, what you do, a scouting mission on Mysore. Then we want to blast Mysore once. We want to blast Mysore twice. I don't know if I can reach Mysore with this city. Oh, we can. Oh, baby, Mysore is dead. And that'll get us more uranium because we're currently only producing a small surplus of uranium. Um, looks like eight from improvements. Blast Mysore another time. We'll take the city under our wing. Uh, you come here. You're in position to go for Majorai. Would like to grab Majorai next because that's where the uranium is. We'll keep you. Loyalty's a bit grim there. Um, let's just grab Mamani and just schlep her down there to uh, buy us a little bit of time. Exodus, blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. Yoinky, yoinky, yoinky. Oinky, oinky, oinky. My passport just got obliterated. Oh, well, well, we're definitely not going for a sign. Wait, what happens if you lose your spaceport? Why? How weird. Um, yeah, I think I think it's well and truly become a domination game now. Giant death robot, please capture this city. Thank you. Awesome. We will be keeping the city. Loyalty. There we go. That's much more manageable. Uh, we are going to need a um, military engineer. Do a little repairing. You're all healing up. What's going on in here? The city could use a garrison. Um, I will just buy a machine gun. It's a fairly cheap garrison. There we go. Loyalty restored. Awesome. Just fill the thing with carbon recapture because nobody cares. Wave your hands like you just don't care. Hopefully my bombers won't take any damage as they attack the city. Would be nice. Uh, destroyer. Take him out. There we go. The bridge to his capital has been opened. And Bjorix, we can denounce him. And... Dude, we're on the verge of victory here. Let's move these missile cruisers west. I think that's going to be their job. Um, I think a nuclear submarine plus this, this destroyer, once I have a nuke, should be all I need to take out his capital. Um, so my aircraft carriers can continue on west, as was originally planned, to assist in the war against these guys. Aircraft carrier was destroyed by a Macedonian submarine. Oh, God. He took them out. This is exactly what I was talking about. Remember when I said my aircraft carriers could get one shot? Oh, God. Well, there's something we can do to save us from that. If we buy the seaport, 
my buy an aircraft carrier armada these guys have a little bit more combat spent so we could just start we can relocate our, our ships to these rebase them look at that yeah nuclear submarine armies are scary destroy our armada take this out these two guys are going to head south on arguably the most important mission of the game taking out a capital without much of an investment so i think i did just lose a couple of aircraft there um, which is unlucky it's part of the danger of having aircraft on an aircraft carrier but say la vie clear contamination put the tank in the city move this tank army out move you through apparently i'm losing yaks chillin where is yaks chillin it's over here wavering loyalty um i will buy a machine gun uh we lost our cultural alliance with this guy we don't need to keep yaks chillin i guess i can launch the moon landing here and teleport carl sagan or something um well i'll definitely Teleport Sergi Karabalev over there. All right, let's get an aircraft carrier armada by the capital. Let's depopulate this one. I'm going to start deleting my old aircraft carriers. I just want the ones with lots of, um, with high combat strength, basically. All right, I need a scouting unit over here, and I think it will be um, a jet bomber positioned on this city. Nope, not quite enough range. That's okay. Uh, we need visual on Majorai again. Get that visual. There we go. This is the kind of damage we like to see. Now there's some more uranium. Keep this city has loyalty. Loyalty's fine here. Loyalty's fine here. We've got it under control. Oh, couldn't have been a better outcome for us this game. Like genuinely giga poggers, dude. Giga, uber, mega, super, super poggers. Super pog. Super pog. Super heist. All right. What you doing here, lad? All right. Everyone is begging me for peace, but I, I, I don't care. I don't care. I'm beyond peace, okay? I am post-peace. They're all ready to surrender. Any nukes? Oh, we just got two nukes. Right as I called for it. That's a beautiful thing. Um, so let's get you to there. Uh, WMD strike the city. Proceed. Oh, that's thumbnail worthy right there, baby. Oh. Oh, right there. Boom. Let's get a little zoom in. Oh, thumbnail me. Beautiful. Beautiful. I always love nuking a city. It's a, it's a, it's just an experience, you know. So that city is now ours for all intensive purposes. Purposes? Let's blast you. So we're hitting Audigust right now. Now we want to be hitting Niani. So one thing we can do is, um, if we can position you like on the theater square or something. All right, we shall gold purchase another high-level aircraft carrier. We'll put our jet bombers in said high level aircraft carrier because i don't i don't want to lose my air my aircraft right so this is not it's not a vibe that i want to invite in my life now let's reposition our other jet bombers onto the quote-unquote front line and this is it this is the moment of truth this is like the end of the game we're we're here boys and girls we just got to take out aduatica and niani and it's ripperino cappuccino papacino blah blah blah, blah 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 bambino game ogre game ogre man game ogre we're there are you guys excited? I'm excited. It's been a long time coming. We've been playing this game for a while. Um, but you know what? It's been a great game, all things considered. I mean, considering what could have gone wrong, what could have gone right, the start that we got? Oh, you tell me you haven't seen a more cursed thumbnail than that first video. Uh, let's buy a... Um, I need a destroyer, but my brain is dumb. There it is. And I need a modern armor. Can I afford one of those? No, not quite. Uh, we don't need it this turn. All right, let's see if we can cast his belly. Whatever, surprise war, who cares? I was hoping that I could get a cast his belly. Just because, you know, a little belly. A little cast his, little cast his belly for the boys. Oh, yeah. We can see exactly what he's doing here. Honestly, let's WMD strike Niani. This is like every... Uh, kid who is obsessed with like soldier toys dream he's gonna be the commander in charge of the army you know if i was in charge no no soldiers would have died my side would have won i would have been a hero they would give me medals and tell me i was really cool my name's timmy the general shut up timmy nobody wants to hear about how you would win the world war again uh, okay bank shopping boom where's my destroyer okay destroyer isn't active yet God, we're not even range, really. But we nuked Niani, we nuked this. Really, we just we just got to walk in and take him now. Um, that's it. That's all she wrote. It's been a banger game. I mean that. Now, I'm going to peace out. I'm going to peace out India because I want his money. Uh, I'm going to peace out Korea because I want her money. 
I'm going to peace out Alexander. He can't. Well, I've, I killed him too quickly. Um, sure. That little bit of extra cash will let me buy the uh, modern armor this turn. So I can start moving it towards the... I don't have anything nearby, do I? Ooh. Theoretically, a cuirass here. If I could sneak him up there, that'd be good. We'll see. I'm at the phase of the game where I just delete shit. Um, if it if it gives me if it asks me for like orders or I just I press a button like the first button that comes to mind um, is this the, is the one that I press if I don't think an action is like important to the outcome of the game apparently I win in eighteen turns that's baffling what the hell what the heck <laughs> I'm making five thousand tourism per turn what the hell uh, I got a four hundred and sixty two percent bonus tourism so I guess I I guess you could say I won all three victories this game because I was able to well I mean I didn't actually like I didn't see the victory screen but I was able to get to the point do you know what I mean where the victory was assured you just assured me that I could speak what is the charge eating a meal a succulent Chinese meal get your hands off me easily one of my favorite videos of all time and honestly if you don't agree I'll fight you a succulent Chinese meal. All right, giant death robot needs to get to Niani. So right there, cross the Boobicon. No, Rubicon. That thing that I said has a different connotation that I didn't realize until I said it. You ever do that? You ever kind of, you're just, you're fooling around. Does anyone else do this ling like linguistic thing where you fool around with like the sounds and vowels and stuff like that? Like there's been a couple of times where I've accidentally said something kind of racy. Um, and not even just racy, like downright offensive, just because I've been like playing with syllables and vowels. And then I'll be like, oh, that word was offensive. My bad. I'm sorry. Also, I don't want to hear nothing about any of my trade routes. If I hear a single person be like, potato, you didn't use all your trade routes. Bro, have you seen my, look, listen, all right? It's not necessary. It's unnecessary. It is surplus to requirement, like your presence. Ooh, got him. <sighs> That's got to be painful. To get got like that. I'll just promote Magnus because I don't care. Wave your hands like you just don't care. So we could probably peace out Mary now. Uh, why don't you give me a little bit of your money there, chief. Oh, he's got money. He's got money. So we got his capital. Uh, I think we're literally down to the last capital. Did we not Did we not capture Das Capital of De Gaulle? No, we did not. We just need to get the Niani. We're a couple turns away. Uh, this, you know, we're in shift enter territory. This, this, is, what, this is what shift enter was you know, uh, designed for when you're like two to three like unit actions away from winning a game, but the game's not fucking over and you got like this massive unmanageable empire. Um, okay, uh, just for memes, I will teleport Carl Sogondi's nuts to the city of Yangshan, Yangshan, launch the Mars colony again, just for shiggles, capture the city of Aduatuka. Boom, that's the capital city. That's the capital of the world. Capture August so that we're in a position to grab Niani uh, next turn. And that's it, boys and girls. That's a wrap. We did it. We fought hard. We won hard. Roll hard. All right, first things first, before we end the game, all right, most important thing, Kyle Sugandi's nuts, go ahead and finish the Mars colony. Thank you. Then promote a governor, because it might be worth score. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then take Niani. Let's go. Take it. <laughs> Victory is oh, mine. Strange. Victory is assured. You just assured me that I would be able to conquer your capital. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here all week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. What is our ranking? Oh, Augustus Caesar. I believe he invented salad. Um, so. I think we are, you know, units lost, barely anything down here, units killed, that's got to be a big number. Although I, I feel like past a certain point, we stopped really killing things. No, never mind. It was the other way around. Past a certain point, we started killing things. Uh, total cities destroyed, none. Total cities captured. I'm super interested in that number. Number of combats? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Um, no, districts constructed? Oh, look at that. Look at that city's captured graph. We, this is this is when I chose violence right here. <laughs> you could tell the exact moment I chose violence. Um, and it was completely enabled by my science. Dude, look how bad my science was up until I chose violence. And then once I chose violence, whew, science was beautiful. Um, yeah, super fun game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just one more turn. I love you all very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.